Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Mocha Lover, whether, on, whether you're watching this on YouTube or BitChute. Anyways, uh, let's continue playing as the Russian SFSR, as I am currently looking at our Asian theater here. And I figure that, you know what, the Japanese, they're probably going to get beat down here without me. And we still got a major Japanese force in central China. We might as well go ahead and move our divisions around and have a good time with them like that. And of course, of course, we have some enemy divisions here too, but we'll get here eventually. So, I've had quite a few comments yesterday, one including Gamefly, but that's really not pertaining to most of this channel. Uh, someone told me to send some outdated equipment to my puppets. And I think that's a great idea. I think that's so great, but I can't do that. At least for some of my equipment, because, um, yeah, I'm out. I'm out of uh, infantry equipment at the moment, as well as artillery. So, yeah. And I'm going to make sure we make a lot more infantry equipment, a lot more, more heavy tanks and artillery. And then I will send as much equipment as I can to my allies. Let's see. For the Baltic Socialist Republic. Can I give you something? Start lend lease of... Oh, I don't know. Here's some anti-air. I might actually get some use out of this. Followed up with... We got a lot of... not Nothing. Uh, here's some motorized. Actually, I'll give you probably... Uh, 1,500 trucks. You can take the trucks. Uh, are these... Mm, carrier bombers? I oh, think these are carrier naval bombers. Yeah, you can have this too, because why not? And 92. I'll give you... 92 of those guys. Go wild. Go wild. So anyways, I did have someone mention yesterday... Uh, regarding the combat width of my divisions. Yes, they are only 20 width right now. And actually... I wanted to make sure yesterday, at the end of last episode, or yesterday's episode, that what type of division width that the Germans were using, as well as the Japanese a little bit, but by far and large in a way, the Germans are definitely using for at least two-thirds of their entire army, 40 width infantry divisions. So that's why we're not really being super successful. We do find a little bit of success here and there, like right here, but it is in my goal to make all my infantry divisions 40 width. Right now, though, we have two... 20 width infantry division, so obviously just all uh, infantry battalions. Nice. And then we have 20 width uh, infantry divisions with some artillery. Let's go ahead and make this, duplicate this, and we'll call this thick arty. Thick arty infantry. We're going to do that. Let's go ahead, since we have got quite a bit of army XP, go ahead and make this a standard 40 width division that eventually we will hopefully make our other divisions to be like this one as well. Because I also had another combat, a com another combat, no, another comment regarding making, oh, support rocket, oh, oh. Okay, I like that idea too. Um, if you guys can, do that. Anyways, because that adds like 35 more soft attack, which is great. Ooh, a little more infantry. Well, we don't really need that much more infantry on the e European front, which you've already figured. But, what was I saying? Yeah, we're going to eventually make 40 width motorized infantry divisions. And actually, I already have one. So, it's not bad. Maintenance companies actually might be good for this, just because you get more reliability. And... Your equipment won't break down as much, basically. Because we have negative 5%. Because of engineers. Engineers' reliability went down. So actually, ooh. Maintenance companies, I would like that. Um, doesn't cost you actually too much for maintenance companies. You get a little bit lower, less organization. You get a little bit more HP, but... Oh man, support rocket artillery. That looks just so good. Currently we're using engineers, artillery, regular artillery. What if we change this to this? Everything would go lower except for the amount of artillery that we use. Um, I think maintenance companies would be good for motorized rocket tree. For motorized infantry divisions. But how about this? Can we change motorized artillery to ooh, truck drawn rocket artillery? Oh. But we get less soft attack, at least at the current moment. And I will switch this motorized infantry eventually to mechanized infantry. Because that would be a little more fun. Uh, you know what? Since we have less reliability right now. 
Mm, God dang it, I'm just doing this. Screw it. All right. Uh, yeah, we have one hell of a deficit. Rocket artillery is way down. Did I get rid of that? I might have gotten rid of that. Because we want to motorize rocket artillery, right? Yeah. That's what we wanted this one. God dang it. I put those things on and we should, I should not have. Go ahead and take that back off. Oops. Not anti-tank. I am messing up so much right now. Oh. No, it wasn't you. Ooh, we have some mountaineers as well. They have... Not anti-air. Hmm. Regular. Take that off. And thick already. Uh, I'm going to leave it on for now just because we're not making any of these yet, so. But yes, my goal is to eventually make 40 with infantry divisions, whether it be regular standard infantry or motorized. Anyways, let's keep going. So really, we're just here to defend on this front until we can produce more factories. Because, oh baby, we definitely need more factories here. Ah, very good. Coffee. Got a little bit of coffee here. It's great stuff. Really great stuff. Hmm. Always wash your mouth out with a little bit more water when you have a little bit of coffee. Our production, though, isn't looking very good for rocket artillery. I don't remember if we put it on anything. Uh, artillery and infantry equipment really are my biggest gripes right now. We aren't producing. Who's using rocket artillery? You are, but we're not making you. Yeah, we're not making them. Regular, nope. Oil processing is done, nice. Uh, these guys, they have military police, which is okay with me, I guess, for now. I don't really care. Uh, logistic company sounds like a good thing on those guys, just in case. You never know how many divisions we're going to have at one point on a single province. I don't see anyone using rocket artillery. Never mind. Never mind, I lied. Cool. So, we will go to 40 with. Is there anything I can do to expand how much... Ooh, rubber refineries. How much production I can get. Because right now, I mean, it's 1943. We can get more extraction, but that really won't help us. We're doing motorized rocket artillery. Uh, I feel like I'm failing really badly right now. Because I messed up with the support artillery stuff, but whatever. Uh, let's see, maintenance... I can do recon companies. It's 1943. Oh, yeah. Get more regular artillery then. that will be good. Awesome. As the Germans are attacking us once again. Oh, excavation 2 is done. Uh, let's get some more rubber. Maybe we can make some rubber fa... Excuse me. Rubber factories. Very good. Very good. They're attacking us like crazy. Just... You know, even though we're using 20 combat with divisions, they're still pretty good for defense. But, yeah. I did check between this episode and the last what type of divisions the Germans were using. I was surprised. I always seem to forget that the AI is now programmed to use 40 with combat divisions at this point. Oh well. Happens. But it's not like we're really losing anyways. So, that's not too bad. Uh, you guys, uh, really don't need that many more divisions. Cut that one out. Tanks are fine. Regular artillery. Uh, you know what? Go down to three, actually. Come down to three. Okay, I guess we've expanded a little bit. You can probably take these guys out. These are from the Mongol Mongol Autonomous Unit Province place thing. If you can, just get down to Busan or something. You, Busan, Busan. You guys, go right ahead. There's like no one here. Cool. Awesome. Portugal definitely should get some sort of territory when we're done here, though. Not really sure where, though. Where they should get territory. Not really sure where. Ace pilot promoted. Very nice. Hmm. Oh, man. They are attacking quite a bit. Wow, look at those Germans. They're really, really dead. And Slovakia, are you now a puppet of Hungary? Yeah, you are now. Okay. German right caves to Hungary. Slovakia rejects Hungarian demands. I mean, good job, Greater Hungary. Slovakia. All right, then. It looks like the Allies have still got a major foothold in this part of Europe. Western Europe. Oh, thank God we got motorized rocket artillery. Finally. Let's see. Supply use, HP, 0.6. Soft attack, 36. Not bad, not bad. BTR. Um, you know what? How is our navy looking first before I do anything else? Cruisers? I definitely want cruisers eventually. Subs are cheap to make. Get some more torpedoes first. Let's see. 
Destroyers. 1940s destroyers. Torpedo 3 is okay. It's not great. Radar. 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 We're not making any heavy bombers. We just need more rubber. We need, we need a lot of rubber. We need a lot of heavy tanks. Guns, of course. And we actually probably need to start producing some of these. But I will put this under the artillery. Because we definitely need things first in the field. Awesome. But we are making quite a few military factories at the moment. Right now, since the Germans are attacking and not really winning, I'm not too concerned about the line. Ooh, aviation cult. But I'm really waiting for this civilian factory to finish first, and then I'll put on another military factory after that one. Nice. Bonus for aircraft. And a little bit more air XP, even though we don't really need any more air XP. So, hmm. Do we want positive heroism or women in the air? Or we get a night bomber regiment. Let's do that. Comrade Raskova, our heroic long-distance aviator, should be allowed to form some all-female air regiments through her Aviation Group 122 program. Well, as you help me kill off a couple Axis members, sure, why not? Ooh, no rubber. Scorched Earth probably isn't in... Oh my goodness, they are really trying hard now. Scorched Earth is probably isn't in our best options, or in our best thing to do right now. But I'm somewhat surprised that they're attacking extremely hard. I mean, someone, I don't know, Pedro, maybe you told me about making my divisions 40 with. Did you tell the Germans right now to keep attacking me because my division combat with is so much smaller? I don't know, man. I don't know why they keep attacking me when obviously they shouldn't be. Look at this tank division. Jesus. That's like, less, like, a, that's like a fifth of the entire tank division is like trying to attack or something. At least it was. Or attacked so hard it died. Uh, you guys, um, please just finish up whatever you can. Like, be quick about it, because we still have, like, Beijing to take, take out. Oh, Clement. Clement Ovoroshilov. He became adaptable. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Nikolai. Nikolai. You are all disappointing me, except for you, Kirill. That's alright, though. Uh, I do want to know, or at least eventually, hopefully, to see... If the U.S. is going to do anything about these Japanese-held Pacific territories or islands, oh, oh, the, the Japanese have Midway. Hmm. Um, America, where are your ships? Like, shouldn't you be duking out with the Japanese like aircraft carriers now, or is that just a pipe dream? Hmm. America, what are you doing? That's not good. Does this help? Motorized rocket artillery soft attack. Actually, I gotta do this one as well so I can get both soft attack things finished. So that we can do lots and lots of damage. Very nice. We're gonna take out Nanjing pretty quickly. And then come back to Beijing. If the Japanese expand a little bit here, so be it. That's a minor loss as we finish up Central Asia. Coast Guards. Uh, definitely do Pusan if you can. Pusan. Over there, over there, over there, there. Oh, we're going to need so many guys. And actually make this a priority. Make this low. Uh, make that medium and make this low. Oh, you actually probably need to be around Pusan for us to get there. Go right ahead, guys. Not too worried about that. Uh, more attacks? Sure, more attacks. Oh, Konstantin, do you have anything? No? Do any of our guys here? To Kachevsky. Nothing of interest. You have. Not really anything of interest either. You. 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 You and you. No. Disappointing, guys. Looks like we need another purge. Is that Romania attacking me? Or, like, Italians or Germans or... Oh, I saw some Romanian divisions attacking. Romania for a while had no manpower. Oh, the Iron Guard. That looks pretty cool. They have a little bit of manpower right now. Hmm, let's take a look at our stockpile. So, our artillery deficit is getting better, and our infantry equipment deficit is also getting quite a bit better as well, which is great. Let's see, in terms of ship, let's do that. We can send you this direction next. Great. Yep, they still haven't expanded this allied spot here. Portugal has a little sliver more in India. Portugal took out China, go figure. Or take out Japanese held China. And you guys can come over here. I'll come back in a little bit to tell you guys to go. And we have Busan. Cool. Actually, what would be good 
Oh crap, I forgot to build more military factories. Build up North Korea, South Korea, and Vladivostok, because these areas will be important when we invade Japan someday. Not sure when we're going to invade, but I will promise you we will most likely invade that area of the world. Cool, 100 infrastructure. Oh, 100, 100. That's, that looks pretty good. Great, great, great. And the Axis is attacking me again. It looks like some Bulgarian divisions are actually pretty hurt as well. Resistance suppression. I've never really played as Bulgaria. They're so small, but I've heard they're like the Prussia of the Balkans. An old title given to them. Bulgarization. Oh, God. Bulgarization in the Greek territories formerly ours. Oh, goodness. Oh, that does not sound like fun. But they don't have that much man. Oh, they have no manpower. Hmm, interesting. Really, I know very, very little about Bulgaria, and I guess their leader, Tsar Boris, just survived an alleged assassination. Allegedly planned by Germany to dispose of the Tsar. Would you like to switch factions with me? Wait, you didn't get attacked, but, um, okay. Well, it's good to know that. Good lord, I, I'm not even attacking them, and they want to attack me so badly. Ah. Oh. Germany, you can't keep this up. You got almost getting closing in on 9 million casualties. Baby, come on. Uh, more naval stuff, because we definitely want the biggest ships as humanly possible. Smoke generators. I think we do have a few s ships here, maybe? Oh, advanced ship torpedoes. Yes, please. And might as well get the next destroyer as well, because why not? Ah, so we got five destroyers. Level 3 stuff. Oh, these two are different. These two might be the better ones. These guys could be upgraded as well. And where are my convoys? Yeah. Do that. Go ahead and do that. Uh, 1940s destroyers. Level 3 torpedoes, because torpedoes are actually pretty darn good. Pretty darn awesome, I've heard. Radar, radar. Mm, not bad. Make one of those. Come back over here. Uh, yeah. Do Leningrad as well. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. 1936 destroyer hole. Oh my. Oh yeah, that's just the one I'm not using. Just get rid of it. There's no point to keep it here. I'm probably. I'm literally probably just going to delete all the crappy ships that we already have. So, I, d I don't want to even know about it. Don't even want to know about it. It's like an illegitimate, illegitimate child. Oh man, that is, that is a terrible thing to say. Don't even want to know about it. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, all right, cool. 340 factories is pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Um, yeah, just Germany. What is your manpower like? Like you, you keep attacking me. Oh, mmm, <sighs> that's not good. I should not have probably... Where, where are you guys being made? Oh, you're in Vladivostok. You're still... Put you on high priority. Put you up here. I might need a few more divisions. Send the tanks. I don't know how many divisions Finland actually has. If they actually join the Finns, that would not be good for us. Let's see, let's see how quickly how many guys they have. Okay, so we have up to 32. At a minimum, 18. Not a lot of manpower, which is good for us. <clears throat> Do I have any extra planes? Well, we got some medium bombers. And that's it. Just in case. I'm going to put you over here. Just because you might need these bombers if Finland joins the Axis. Rocket artillery upgrade 1. Awesome. Let's get the next upgrade as well. Currently, we have done adding even more guns to our stockpile. We're done adding more artillery factories to them. We have a slight deficit. Infantry equipment is looking better as we have women in the skies. We're going to get positive heroism. And the Germans are attacking us once again. That's pretty darn typical at this point. I mean, honestly, at this point, if the Germans keep attacking us like this, we don't even need to switch to 40 combat with divisions. Like, they're going to be so tired out, it's not even going to be funny. Because at this point, they're at 9 million casualties. Holy cow. 
nine million dead Germans. Actually, do I have radar? Oh yeah, I got I got good radar. Up here we got some pretty good radar as well. Not bad, but not great. Hmm. Asia has six more divisions. They helped us tank out Pusan. Looks like we got some guys up here too. Go ahead and do that. I hope no one here is really in circle, but I guess it doesn't really matter seeing as they're all going to die anyways. We got a couple divisions. Oh, we, you know what, actually. I really don't want to lose Pusan again. I probably will, honestly. I probably will. So do that. You know what? Nope. No one's attacking me right now? Come on, guys. Come on. You're not even German. And they finished befriending Finland. And they're attacking my line again. Good lord. My goodness. 1944 heavy ship hull. Uh, screw it. Why not? And then... It's almost 1944. 1945. Give you more tank defense. Aluminum's okay. If I did this, heavy fighter stuff, sure, screw it, why not? Oh, we got a lot of things we can do, potentially. Open the Karajan mine. Hmm, not really worth it at the moment. War bonds? Sure, why not? We'll get some war bonds, we can produce some more factories. Factories, 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 factories. And give me one more set of factories in... Mosier. Awesome. 380 factories is not bad. As the Germans... I mean, my god. Seriously, guys. Seriously. Do you not care about your own boys? I mean, wow. My field marshal is level 8 at this point. That's a little ridiculous. Not gonna lie. Level 5, 6, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6. Wow. That's a lot of devil numbers there. I mean, if you... I mean... Guys, come on. I mean, the Germans at this point are playing kind of like me in la the last episode, where I would just try to attack, attack, attack. We only have 363 factories, but, I mean, come on. Don't take a page out of my... Well, actually, yeah, go ahead and take a page out of my book and make sure you can actually survive here, and the rest of these Japanese divisions are going to say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Japanese divisions. I didn't even... God dang it. No, you. North Korea. I mean, People's Democratic Republic of Korea. Come on, guys. Come on. Please. Got all those divisions over there. Our stockpile is looking pretty freaking awesome. We have some thick, arty infantry, I think. I'm thinking here. That's dangerous. Thinking is dangerous, kids. Uh, or guys. Oh, you can add more guys to him. Let's go ahead and switch, not all you guys, but the infantry over to thick, arty. Let's go ahead and try that. And you know what? For the Mountaineers, we'll probably do the exact same thing. We're starting to get a little thick. Which one's better? 36, 57 right now? Rocket Artillery has just one more breakthrough? Even though, comparatively, the rest of the negative stats are the same. Actually, it takes more to make artillery. Hmm. Interesting. Mountaineers, 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 and a couple more Mountain Boys. Awesome. Can I add... Yes. No, I don't want that one. No, I don't want that. No, 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 no. Nice. Those guys look a little weak, but they're actually very strong. We have some positive heroism. <clears throat> Great. We're running out of things to do, actually. Yeah, all we can do left is a gun in every hand so we can produce more infantry equipment, lose 10% reliability, gain less infantry XP, which is to totally fine with me, and get drastically reduced army XP, or infantry training time. That's not bad. Alright guys, you doing okay? How many divisions? There's only one division defending. Come on, you got this, you got this, come on. And they have been... Not pushed out yet. Now, what's going on? How many divisions over here? They have two. Come on, guys. Just waltz in there. The, the Japanese didn't want to stay, stay there anyways. It's 1943. Go ahead and get some better cannons for our thingy-mabobbers. Great. We got so many divisions over here. I'm actually probably only going to send one army to help 
down here in Southeast Asia there. Malaysia is done, and I'm not going to put my guys anywhere close in the water just yet. But I will put you guys like over here. Keep you guys where you guys are at. Put you guys like here. Put you guys like, I don't know, here or something. <clears throat> oh, oh they, oh, they actually pushed us out somewhere here. Well then, they definitely were exploiting something here. Uh, that's not good. Rocket artillery upgrade two, not bad. I mean, the strength, we don't have a ton of strength right now. Oh, they're pushing us back. Is it because I switched these over to 40 combat width? It's probably because of that. But then again, the Germans have been attacking furiously. They've almost lost another 700,000 men. Germany, you just can't keep this up. I'm literally going to bleed you dry. How do they get more and more men? They got total war. Huh. They're on service by requirement. They still have around two or a little more million manpower left. Just keep on digging in, boys. By the end of this war, we're going to be so gung-ho about killing off the Germans that... I don't know if Germany's going to exist after this war. They probably will. At least the state of Germany will. Nice. And for now, keep you on, keep you over here, keep you like on the spot. Um, you guys, you might want to go somewhere else. Go to there. You come to hang out in Vladivostok. Hang out in Dalian, and you hang out over there. It's a hangout group. So now, basically, we can go ahead... Oh, they're trying to push me back out. God dang it. We can mostly focus on the European front until Japan decides to invade again. That's really what we're going to have to do. Alright, 10 million casualties, Germany. 10 million. Is that not enough? Keep defending, boys. You got this. Yeah, we have quite again... Major deficit of artillery and infantry equipment, as well as rocket artillery. Who needs rocket artillery? I have motorized rocket artillery. No. No, I don't see it there either. Nope. No. Regular, no. And then thick arty. God dang it. There you go. Why'd I put that on there? Hmm. Whatever. It's fine. They're attacking. Just... Could you possibly counterattack? They have only one division defending. And they are pushing. They're trying to push so flippin' hard. And they're actually pushing us back a little bit. Uh, where's this? Olance? You know what? I still need you on the front line for now. So. Oh, and you guys. With artillery. Honestly, I could probably just put you over here in Europe still. And who wants to deploy? Oh, we got it. Throw you onto there. That'll be good. That'll be good. Alright. You guys keep attacking me. They're probably going to take this province. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. My goodness. Yeah, 40 width is just the way to go. Some people, I keep occasionally on the Reddit, people are like, yeah, 10 combat width is the best because it has the best defense. But as you can tell, even 20 width is inferior to 40 width combat divisions. And the Germans definitely have less than 2 million manpower now. At least that's good to see. Wow, look at the casualties. Over 16 million for the Axis. A little less than 5 for us. The Allies have lost 8.3 and the Japanese faction has lost not that much at 4.62. Hmm, that's actually not too bad really isn't too bad. Oh, we have a... We're not in a deficit of infantry equipment anymore. We still have a slight deficit of heavy tanks. And then we have, of course, a deficit of artillery. Kirill Meretskov wounded. That's fine. It's fine. You guys are doing fine over here. 1944 heavy ship hull. It's almost actually 1944. So we want... Next... Oh! Nuclear technology. But I'm going to go with Colossus Series... Research speed for 10% more research speed, which would be great. Um, -da -dum -bum -bum. more factories. Nothing says Russia like industrial production. Cool. And what can I do with my political power? 
region-wide integration, open a mine, small arms manufacturers, vehicles manufacturers, bombers and plane, actually this might not be too bad. Research something to pull love. What is the next fighter we need? Two, two. The two, two. Do we get a bonus to two, two? Bombers. We, the Tupolev 2-2. Two, two. Hopefully that's actually the right one. Let's try it. Lose our political, 10 political power and some air XP, but that's okay. Let's see, how many more factories do we need? Advanced light battery, nice. Um, we still need more heavy fighters. We gotta get more rubber, though. Go ahead and throw another thing of a rubber factory, actually, over here and there. Nice. And good. Good, 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 good. Snorkels, I could do that. Armor's pretty good. Do that. Adva super advanced torpedoes. Happy 1944, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Hmm. Ship designer sounds pretty good to me. A gun in every hand, so we can just get so many more guns. Oh my goodness. Jesus, guys. Come on. Oh, another heavy tank. Oh, this is great. The more the heavy tanks, the better. Is everyone here attacking a gun in every hand? Nice. And then we'll do Workers of the World Unite, plus 5% non-core manpower, and then 5% more total recruitable population. They're attacking with quite a few guys, and you know what? I'm going to attack them right back in the hole. Yeah, try to hold on to here, guys, against my 40 with combat divisions. Ah, so good. Germany, Germany, please, please. You're killing off your, your people. I don't think it's what you wanted when you went to war for Lebensraum. And yes, I do know the divisions I am currently making are only 20 width, but things will change eventually. And actually, you know what? Let's get rid of... Uh, get rid of you. And actually, for this, I'll put you on... Yeah, medium's fine. I'll probably make another army for Finland just in case, but we'll see what happens. Nice. Now we're defending again over a river. Which is awesome, awesome, awesome. It's 1944. We'll get to Germany by 1945, hopefully. We'll see what happens, of course. 1944. Let's get some better planes. Great. Livo. The Allies haven't moved an inch where they landed. Just look at th this. is ridiculous. The German AI is like, push, push, push. And they actually did push. Meow. That's insane. Absolutely insane. And I will end the episode fairly soon. Are they getting even more manpower now? No, maybe not. Maybe not. Probably not. Ah, oh, Germany. I just want Warsaw. Please. Could you spare some Warsaw for me? Actually, we're going to lose this province. That's not good. And Romania. I mean, they, they've got to be out of manpower, too. Yeah, they're out of manpower. Hungary is, actually has quite a bit of manpower left. Italy has a little bit left, as well as Vichy France has a little bit left as well. The UK has quite a bit, still. The USA still has a couple and quite a few ships. Japan, how many ships do you have? How is the United States not killing all your ships? That makes no sense. Portugal, you're only 46, which isn't bad if they have 46 ships. That's really not bad for a country like Portugal. But attacking over a river, and they're still not losing. They're, they're actually beating us while we're using 40 combat with divisions. Just the air superiority is such an important thing to have. Let me go ahead and see if I can get any more rubber from these people. Because I have to have more heavy fighters. Four a day. I'm going to get maybe one or two more things of rubber before we're done here. Alright, well, that's pretty much all the time for we have today, guys. Um, I mean, the European front, we got just maybe pushed back ever so slightly. Not very much. We finished off Asia, and, or at least China, for our sake. And we have pretty much secured, like I said, China. Portugal is really thick right now in China. Korea is fully secured. We've been researching so many ships. It sounds like someone's trying to navally invade me right now. And where is that happening? The Kuban re... Oh, hello there. And anyways, and that's pretty much all the time we have for today. So, hope you leave a like, guys, if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and tomorrow we will continue ensuring that all of our divisions become 40 combat-width thick infantry, and eventually, someday, becoming 40-width 
motorized infantry divisions. Thanks for watching, guys.